This is Nasty Neil. Yes, and we're joined by Stefania Cassini. Yeah, that's right. Suspiria. I got it right. Yeah. Uh -huh. He pronounces Grim. Very good. I am half Italian. <laughs> Half. <laughs> half, yeah, half. Right. Just, just, just the left half. <laughs> so we're at Texas Frightmare Week in 2017. Uh, how are you enjoying your weekend? Oh, it was great. Actually, it's my first time in Texas, but the, I didn't have time to see the sightseeing. Yeah. So I saw only the hotel, the ballroom, and. Uh -huh. But I love the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you Texans are really, really sweet. I mean, and it's so enjoyable to be here with people that is so happy to meet you and so enthusiastic about the movie. Yeah. It's really moved me. Mm -hmm. Have you done many conventions in the past? No, no. I live in Rome. Yeah. It's so far away to come here. I have done once years ago. Um, but, you know, it's... Um, it's really a long trip. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. I mean, I know they're popping up, but it is kind of a newer phenomenon to have these giant horror conventions. How does it feel? Because a lot of you have been in these amazing movies, Suspiria, you've done work with Andy Warhol, yeah. you've done a lot of different really big things, special things. How does it feel to have people of all ages really come and yeah. show their appreciation yeah. for what you've done? <laughs> well, I tell you. I'm always very surprised that young people, when they come to me, first, how they can recognize me, because it was 40 years ago, and believe me, I have been young. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now I have a certain age. And the second, they are so enthusiastic, and the best part is that uh, I ask them, how do you know Suspiria has been uh, released yeah. 40 years ago? And they said, oh, you know, my mom, my father, uh, introduced me to this film and now uh, this is one of my best films and so far. So I really think that Suspiria has something special. It's not just a horror movie. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a full of art. So it's a really also an aesthetic experience. So that uh, really, uh, you know, take something uh, of you and, and it keeps in a memory because it is really an aesthetic experience. Now when I talked to Barbara she said that uh, that Daria wanted her to play the character like a feline, like a cat. Did he give you any specific directions for your character? Uh, well, uh, not exactly, but uh, we, we all have to be trained as a dancer. Mm -hmm. So you have to have this kind of uh, ballerina attitude. Mm -hmm. And for my character, you know, I was really snobbish in the, in the yeah. city, you know, and smoking. <laughs> and I have my beautiful stuff. And when the guys come and said, mm, look, uh, this uh, servant uh, is looking at your... Uh, um, Accendino, I don't know, lighter. <laughs> and you know, maybe, it's like, oh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was like a kind of snobbish, rich family. Uh, but uh, for the, the terrifying scene, when I have to jump and everything, yeah, hello. he didn't tell me anything. So I climb, I jump, rock, and I have to <laughs> So it was really something very real. And he didn't tell me that it was a barber wire. Mm. So when I get in, and he keeps saying, move, move, move from the camera. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but it was great. Yeah. I assume it was a real barbed wire for you to... Uh... Uh, yes, it was a real really? barbed wire, but not the one with the pin. With the bar, I see, yeah. So they snipped the ends off. So. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, still it was, wire, though. It's, yeah. it's wire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't sound very right. And I had many pinches, because oh, yeah. the more you move, yeah, you it know, catches. And more it catches yeah. a little skin, you know, mm -hmm. so baby skin. Was there more than one take? Oh, well, I remember only one take. Oh, well, that's good, so. yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, when you're on the set and you uh, and you play, you don't even remember who you are. Mm -hmm. You play like a like a sportman, you know. And when he is good, it's because he doesn't even remember what he is. He goes. Mm -hmm. Did Dario ever tell you why he uh, picked you specifically for the for the character? No, actually, I met. I mean, at that time, I was kind of famous in Italy. Okay. So um, he has to replace 
Daria because she was supposed to do my character or, or something like this uh, and then she broke her knees or something. Oh, okay. Um, so they called me up and they said, Daria, do you want to see you? I said, ah, okay. And I went and they looked at me and we had a little chat. They knew me from my other movies, so I was not a coming uh, up girl. Mm -hmm. And then it was okay. So uh, from tomorrow you have a dance uh, yeah. lesson, and in one month uh, we'll be shooting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and when you saw the finished film, and it has uh, the music from Goblin and the different colors, and uh, what did you think of the movie? Because it's you know pretty uh, different. From I had a on. fantastic experience. I was with Dario in Paris for the opening in Paris. Mm -hmm. It was in a gigantic movie theater and uh, after the, uh, when the, the movie ended there was a, such a warm applause a really a standing ovation and we were looking at each other <laughs> saying, wow <laughs> we made something really really good yeah and because the people and immediately we had the fantastic uh, uh, critics because they're talking this is like an opera uh, because the aesthetic experience the music uh, uh, the ambience, uh, the colors of Luciano Tavoli, it was really something new, mm -hmm. new, strongly new for that uh, time. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't a, like now, the horror community is a big presence, so this was not just a group of just horror people that you watch this in front of. Uh -huh. So it must have been really, really strong film, not just this great yeah, horror Yeah, 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 that, that's what happened. Everywhere, I was in the Philippines, in Manila, and I mean, the audience were all young people and they were really applauding and shocking and, you know, and it was great. And everywhere I've been, uh, the response of the audience is so warm, so enthusiastic that you feel there is something different. It absolutely, yeah. it is an absolutely beautiful movie. It pulls you in. It's, you're, it's like you're in a dream when you watch it's it. Dream, it's very yeah. disorienting, so it really pulls you into that experience where you're totally in the moment with all the characters. And you have to, I want to point out, at that time we didn't have all the clones, you know, yeah. and the things, they, 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 they go to the flying with the camera, so mm -hmm. this was really invention of the vision of Dario and the, the Italian technician, they ca could make flying a camera without yeah. any drone or without mm -hmm. anything. So yeah. You know, it was really something very, very emotional for that time. Because when you have the scene of the piano player with the dogs, you know, mm -hmm. and you see the camera yeah. <laughs> coming down. That was uh, something, was invention, you know, yeah. Yeah. and it's the Dario vision uh, in these movies, is incredible. Mm -hmm. Just uh, real quickly, can you uh, tell us what it was like to work with uh, Andy Warhol? Well, I, I, it's very funny because I met Andy in, in Rome, where all the bunch of the gang of the Andy Warhol uh, people came down to do Dracula and Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Basically, it was Paul Morrissey doing the movie. But uh, Andy Warhol was always around. Um, so I met him, and he was a fantastic man. Uh, completely different to what I expected. Mm -hmm. Because so. he was someone with. You know, in the party, he was all in the kitchen, eating his burger, drinking his Coca-Cola. <laughs> no uh, sex, rock and rock and roll, as yeah, you yeah. think about it. Uh, he was a very square man, actually. Uh, but very sweet. In fact, I remember when I, then I came to New York to do um, Andy Warhol's Bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we see each other more frequently. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, every time we go out, he wanted me to meet somebody that could be a good, um, how could I say, I could marry, you know, so, you know. <laughs> you see me, connection. Yeah, yeah, it's not a connection. He wanted me to, to find um, a secure um, yeah. oh, future, oh, well, you know, to yeah. hear of you. Yeah, well, that's very nice, yeah. yeah. Like an uncle, I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet. So it was very sweet, uh, completely mm -hmm. different to what you expect. Uh, I mean, at least with me. Mm -hmm. Maybe I was so fragile, you know, and so young that uh, he, he has a kind of um, sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, Udo Kier is here this weekend. Who is? I know. love the idea because uh. I've been I've been uh, looking for him. But then you know how life is with actor. You go here and he goes there. And when I saw him, it was really enjoyable. Yeah. So uh. we had a big hug. Ah, how many memories? <laughs> Most See, amazing we eyes. Seen each other in. Yeah, since then. Wow. 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 Since then. That's it. So that's yeah. another nice thing is that when you come to these conventions, it's yeah. not just for us. It's a convention for some of you where you're seeing yeah, people yeah, you haven't absolutely. seen or yeah. in a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm sure as soon as you saw those eyes, you knew it was him because they're very memorable eyes oh, on yeah, Udo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had so much fun because we were shooting this big villa and um, we were just, you know, so together and like, like in the film sometimes it happens like this when you're shooting, you know, in a location all the time and you're out and, you know, it was really funny at that time and we were all young, so, <laughs> <laughs> so probably crazy and doing yeah. silly things. <laughs> well, very good. I know uh, the convention is starting soon, so you got to get to your table, yep. but thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so us. much. It was thank a pleasure. You. Thank it was you. Very Absolutely. nice. Ciao. Thanks, <laughs> Bye.